Hello internet, this is Kala, and welcome to Red Rogue. This game is a platformer, mostly turn-based-ish roguelike. It, it takes some cues from games like Binding of Isaac and Spelunky, but has a really unique and interesting setting in my opinion. It's um, really gorgeous pixel art, and it's very much roguelike, and I have tried it exactly once, gotten surprisingly far in it, and I love it to pieces. So let's record and see what happens. I'm going to be playing dogmatic mode, which is closer to turn-based than not. If you were the kind of person who does not like combat pausing and faster than light, you should play the action RPG mode. If you're more used to Binding of Isaac, you should play action RPG mode. If your idea of a good time is NetHack or Adam, you should be playing Dogmatic. I will be playing Dogmatic. So very basic idea, walk into monsters to attack, press up to collect and to read, press down to exit. Use the menu key for items and skills. The music in this is beautiful by the way. Welcome, Rogue. So, my name is... The character I'm controlling here is this long-haired character who is actually female. And a very interesting female hero, but we'll get into that in just a minute. Is named Rogue. Here are the things we can do in this action menu. Um, we can search the level for things. Uh, summon our minion, which is the thing in... W the skeleton in white that's following us around help us. If you're familiar with the pets in, in games like NetHack and DCSS, the minion is the same idea. Um, disarm traps, shoot if we have missiles or thrown weapons, jump if we can, and sleep if we need more health. We will be sleeping and it will be get interesting. Here's our inventory, currently empty. Um, weapons, armor, runes, which are various effects and things. I haven't figured them all out yet and what they all do, but I'm interested to see where that goes. Hearts, which you kill monsters, you get their hearts, you eat the hearts to heal. Yeah, this game's a little dark. Just a bit. And an auto sword function, which is very nice. Um, lore. Our map. A log of everything that's happened so far. So this is the equivalent of the control P in DCSS. Possible races. Right now we only have the rogue. Who can backstab cert and search better than most. Um, we have item. Um, item information. And quests. Our only quest is to get the amulet of Yendor. If you've ever played NetHack same goal. And that's going to be significant. And some options. Full screen and all of that good stuff. Uh, okay. Um, one thing that is cool is that there is a ch ways to set and copy RNG seeds. This is sort of like the seeds in Minecraft. These dungeons are... Um, oop, there's the seed. Um, these seeds are... What am I looking for? Settable and like Minecraft, if you put the seed, then you'll get the exact same dungeon down and the, the dungeons are procedurally generated. We can switch between dogmatic and action RPG. There is a use the same keyboard multiplayer where the minion is controlled with the actual arrow keys that I'm controlling with WASD. Uh, new game, reset saved game, quit credits. Code is by Aaron Steed, sound is by Nathan Gallardo, and there is a site for Red Rogue. Um, the source is open, the game is free, have fun with it. So, let's walk around a bit. Yeah, I can't jump. So this goblin is coming up the stairs, and we just run into him. Oh, kobold. And boom, dead. So, and I crit, so I have a kobold heart. If I need to heal later, I'll eat that kobold heart. Whoop, teleport trap. Whoop, 
pit trap. Very nice. Pick that up. We have a knife. An un um, an unidentified rune. Some flies. And such. The minion has rejoined us. And it looks like our minion hopefully helps out a bit. Minion to our own heart. Grab the heart. There we go. Um, the minion's been killing quite a bit for us, and we've already leveled. It's pretty great. I guess there's a secret here. So one thing that is nice is that the map will actually tell us how, just how much we've explored a given level. So I'm aiming for 100% for every level. Uh, clear that trap, and that clears out the entire dungeon. Very nice. So let's head down to level 2. There we go. Okay, that way pathway has just opened for us. A knife and a rune. Oh, we should equip all our stuff. Okay. So we have all these cobalt hearts, very handy. We have these unexplained runes. Let's try eating that one. It's a rune of light. So now that we've eaten it, the way should be much easier on us. We'll equip the top hat. We'll have the minion equip the flies. I haven't figured out what the flies do just yet. I want us to equip that. I want the minion to equip that. There we go. For now I'll equip that main for myself and the other one main for the minion. All unenchanted. Well, let's see. What does this thing do? Enchant my weapon. What did that just do? Bleeding. Very nice. And we'll be able to open that up. Oh, something opened over here. No, Rob. There's that key we wanted. Picked up another rune of bleeding. Maybe I'll equip uh, Discover Secret. And leveled. Fantastic. Uh, we have the key now. Punish the kobold. This rune makes you sweat blood. Runes can be cast on items, monsters, and yourself. Let me feed it to the minion. Because I'm really not sure what exactly that does for us. So bought and quit planted by your Ooh, explosions. Gotta be careful. Ooh, top hat. Enemies. Very nice. Pimpinson. Punished by the minion. Flies. I love the lighting in this game. It's very atmospheric and very pretty. Ooh, triggered that pit trap, unfortunately. Let's see, how far are we on the map? 84% some clans. 
light wears off. So if we want to keep that going, we could eat another room for light. We have lots of cobalt hearts, but I did tell you about we wanted to sleep very often. And here's why. So, okay. That time the monsters heard me. So, we didn't actually get to go to sleep. This time, though, will be a little different, hopefully. So it fades out. And we sleep and heal. But let's see this. How many times will I escape? I'm sure I've escaped before. Me and Apt. Together. Didn't we? And now it'll just play the uh, three um, disease over and over again until we wake up. So, here's the thing. You see how that says the phrase widow to the rogue named at and how our quest is to get the amulet of Yendor? Uh, Alex Sorkin or whoever can can correct me if I'm wrong. But if I understand this correctly, um Basically, what you're saying is that this hero, this heroine, was the partner, the former partner of the at sign in something like NetHack. And when that adventurer died, because that game is hard and everyone dies in those games that she's what's left and she's on her own quest to retrieve the amulet and find peace after her partner has died which is crazy and fascinating and I, I love it I love it to bits it's a great homage to everything awesome about uh, about roguelikes and roguelike history it's a great you know tie-in and because like most great roguelikes the plot is optional discovery. Huh. So, because it used to be that I'd search around and I wouldn't get such things. Teleport trap disarm. And now the level is considered clear. Okay. So maybe that's just a cue of where to search in order to find things. Here we go. Uh, level. Th and now we're in the sewers. But yeah, I'm, I'm so... Hmm. There's a discovery further there. Let's go to sleep again. Partially because I need the HP and partially because I want to see more lore. Monsters have heard you make camp, I know. Oh. There we go. Work beat by soccer. That means I'm kicking the, uh, 
the heads around. Which is a pretty cool feature, not gonna lie. Okay, let's try this again. Monsters have heard us make camp, I know. Oh. Rogues, um, minions in danger. It's feed minion a heart. Try this yet again. No, it's not happening. Welcome to level four. Fabulous. Disarm that trap. Head over here. Try this yet again. Here we go. This should be better. Sleepy time. We were happy. Why did you need more treasure? Um... So... This is kind of interesting, because now that I'm thinking about it... Um... It's plausible that instead of being about net hack specifically I keep saying net hack because I'm very familiar you know I'm fairly familiar with it oh here's a um what's the phrase I'm looking for this is an altar to the random number god sometimes you get good things and sometimes you get bad things it gives health fantastic um but as I was saying um I believe I'm, I can't confirm this because I don't remember anymore. But uh, I believe. Oh, uh, where's my minion? There we go. Better. Work face created. Grab the work face. Grab the mace. Um. I believe that the original, you know, ancient computer terminal grandfather of them all, Rogue, also had a um, amulet of Yendor. So that may actually be where this comes from. Not, uh, not that hack. Either way, it's such a classic image. that, you know, the rogue is greedy, the outside is greedy, and that's why you keep picking up this treasure compulsively. Married to a bloody skeleton. Wait. Wait. D does that mean... Does that mean the minion? Is the wiz it, it is the rogue the wife well the partner of the minion? I uh, that that's kinda genius. Rune of light, rune of bleed. Um, I haven't figured out what all these runes do and why they're useful. Search. Found nothing. How far along am I? 79%. Mm. Ah, there we go. Nice. Kick that around. Found a secret. Huh. So that's kind of interesting. Cuz I never thought of the minion as anything more than a thematically appropriate pet, you know, like like in uh Adam or 
Yeah, Adam's bards have pets. And, um... I believe there's a way to get pets in DCSS, or at least there used to be. I know there is a net hack. Everyone gets one in net hack. But yeah, I, I thought it was just something like that. I didn't think that there'd be anything more to it than that. But hey, if I'm wrong, I, I am quite pleased to be wrong in that particular case. As I said, this game is really fascinating to me because its setting is quite unique. 95% uh, uh, Search. Found nothing. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, let's try down there. Area. There, there we go. That's better. Uh. Yeah, I, I'm very fascinated with this game's setting and its implications for, for games like it. Because I think it, it, that the, the roguelike genre um, is evolving into something pretty extraordinary. There we go. Grab that mace. Work decapitated by the minion. Very nice. Werewolf tamed. Um, another question mark here. Okay. You should tell me your secrets. Another level. Very nice. Okay. Sleep again, because why not? Uh, oh, that's why not. Decapitations. Okay, let's try that again. Monsters I've heard. But we fall asleep anyway. Married to a bloody skeleton. Okay. Um, I just who does that? Who who plays with those concepts? Who plays with you know the joke amongst roguelikers? Of course, is that there's no such thing as plot in these games. You know, it it's completely arbitrary and senseless to care about the plot because it's all about the mechanics and nothing but that. But these hints, these hints that something could be awry. Um, are really interesting and really unique and they have the potential for such great things if we could, you know, just explore them further. And so, yes, a very, very exciting idea. A trap here. I'm scared. There we go. Pray to the RNG. RNG dislikes rogues. And I am no longer human. Fun. Grab the face. need to stop standing like right under platforms like that because that's how they're surprising me for extra damage. Whatever that thing is in the mini map, it's around here. Hmm? That looks promising. There's a knife. Ah. 
disarm that. Disarm that. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Another RNG. May we be luckier? RNG has issued a new quest. Please kill a kobold. Easy enough. How far along are we? 90%. Hmm. Oh, I see. At least I think I do. Yeah. This form is very annoying. Very slow. Not a fan. Hmm. I wonder if it can- no, it does not count as another race yet. Runes... Oh, Rune of Teleport. Okay. Rune of Portal. What does this do? I'm really curious- oh wait. This is the overworld? Oh. Oh, I'm not ready. Rogue reverts to human form. Okay. Okay, um... Makes you sweat blood. I don't need light. This armor is... Oryx's face. There's flies, 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 top hat, top hat. Equip that. Equip that on the minion. Level 3 mace. Level 3 mace. Let's enchant each of our weapons with it. when I try to sleep here. Sleep. I will murder this Balrog. Cool. Balrogs for murdering. Of course, it's a different level one because of procedural generation. No monsters in it because we already cleared level one earlier. Or maybe it is the same. Yeah, I think it is, in fact. The same. So our portal to the overworld is in level 4. Keep that in mind, folks. And now at level 4, it's like we're starting over. Okay. Hmm. How many monsters, though, if any? Which is kind of interesting. But yeah, I like this game a lot. I like its pace. I, I like its style. I definitely like the bits of its plot that we've seen. Uh, 
but yeah, really fascinating and, and cool stuff. Major props to Aaron and Nicholas for making a very fascinating and lovely game. Really a new kind of roguelike for a new kind of time, you know, these... I like that it's not entirely reflex based, like say uh, Binding of Isaac, that you actually have the choice of um, what you prefer between uh, completely action RPG focused or a little more turn based and thoughtful. I really like its style, as I said before, it's beautiful, it's absolutely gorgeous, and I like, I don't know, it, it's just a very pleasing and interesting game to me, and we have it, I mean, you could say that Faster Than Light did that, you could say that Spelunky did that, Sarah the Jury, Duchess of Dreadmore did, but this does it in a very different way, and I like that very much. So, enough rambling from me. Uh, about halfway. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think we're probably going to call it at the end of this episode, if only because we are doing some backtracking here, and we're, we're pretty far along. We have, we have gear. We know some things we didn't originally know, but that does seem like successes to me. Mm, little room here. Um, I get lost in these dungeons very easily, I must admit. Uh-oh. There's our co-coast completed. The RNG is pleased with the pointless errand. I wonder what that did for us. Unless there's like some hidden loot mechanic or something that I don't know about. Wait, something's sparkling over there. Wonder what that is. Wonder what that is. Onwards. Oh, that's the uh, the portals we made before. Okay. So now we're done with those. Okay, we need to head to the bottom of this thing. So I'm going to call it here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.